A 10-foot python is missing from a Rockland home. There's, there's no danger as far as humans are concerned. He's not going to attack a baby or a toddler or a kid. The pet snake escaped from its owner's home off of Delta Drive last night, and it's raising alarms for neighbors who may have small pets. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins spoke with the snake's owner tonight and has the latest on this search. Macy? Well, sure, and I talked with the owner today, of course, and he told me that this snake is more than a pet. It's an educational tool. He bought him a few weeks ago to teach kids about wildlife, but it escaped last night, and neighbors in this Rockland neighborhood are very concerned tonight. Oh, heck no. And knowing that there's a 10 foot python out there, just that's. Creepy. A 10 foot, 35 pound snake is on the loose in a Rockland neighborhood. And uh, it had been living in this cage for about three years. Owner Lou Fraser says when he checked the cage this morning, the python was gone. But how does a snake of this size escape from a locked cage? The corners start to push out, and the snake is all muscle. So he could have easily pushed on this until it, it popped open. The snake is a reticulated python, a yellow caramel color that goes by the name Banana Jam. Fraser says he typically closes the garage door, but last night he happened to leave it open. He could have easily made it here over this fence within, you know, a matter of minutes. And just behind the house, a shady creek, which could be the perfect retreat for a 10 foot snake. It's very likely that he's somewhere within this general area. Word quickly spread in the neighborhood with this flyer. On it, a warning that has neighbors rattled. It reads The snake will eat your cats and dogs. I'm not a fan of snakes. I do not like them. Ugh. I just hope it, like, mm. nobody actually gets hurt. Mm -hmm. um, and they find it quickly. Fraser says the snake ate a few days ago, so he shouldn't be hungry just yet. This snake is not on the loose looking for pets right now as we speak. That could change the longer he's out there in the wild. Fraser just wants his neighbors to be cautious if they do happen to see banana jam nearby. Hey, it's here. Take this seriously. Help me find it and don't bash its head in with a spade shovel. Of course, if you do see this snake, the best thing to do is to call Rockland Animal Control. As far as Fraser, he says that once he gets the snake back, he's going to be getting more latches to add to that cage. That's a good point there. My goodness, can't imagine being confronted with a 10-foot python. Macy Jenkins, thank you.